So it does not look like a good day to be melting metal outside. I'm going to use my hot pot to melting pot as well as my electric furnace later on in today's video. So make sure you stick around for that part. This here is the hot pot to melting pot. It is manufactured by Palmer in West Newton, PA. This hot pot is good for melting low melting temperature metals, such as pewter, lead, and tin. I'm using it for pewter, you can see here. I have a few scraps of pewter, as well as other things that I've cast in the past that I don't really need. They serve no purpose to me whatsoever. So I'll be melting down each and every one of these that are made out of pewter. I carved this design out with my CNC router. This is going to be the first thing I'm going to be making today. Before I cast this, I need to add talcum powder to the pattern so it doesn't stick to the sand. It really is super easy. I'm actually using kinetic playing sand for this. It works very well for low melting temperature metals. The hot metal actually doesn't even burn the sand. It just makes it hot or warm. It allows you to use 100% of the sand over and over and over again. Now that I'm plugged in, now I'm going to add the pewter to the melting pot. But I am impatient, so I'm going to use the torch to start off on the melting process for this pewter. After being plugged in, it usually takes about 10 minutes for it to get hot enough to start melting the pewter. But again, I am impatient and I am trying to make a video here. Give me a break. Now that all the pewter's melted, it's now ready to pour into the mold that I previously made. After about 10 minutes or so, the pewter is now solidified and I am now able to remove it from the sand. Not using my hands because yes, it is still hot, but it has solidified. So now I'm able to get a good look at it and see how it came out. I think it looks almost as good as the pattern that I used. Now I'm going to melt down some more pewter for another cast that I just made out of sand. And again, I'm using kinetic sand. This is going to be the green stuff. Now, as far as this pattern goes, I didn't really like the way the pattern came out when I carved it with my CNC. I actually used an MDF instead of using a solid hardwood. I'm going to be redoing this pattern, but I figured what the heck, I'll give it a shot and see how it comes out. I mean, it looks good, but I know I can do better. Because again, the pattern that I used looks just as this does. I'm just going to give this a little bit of a cleanup using a wire wheel, and I'm going to remove the little bit of slag on the top. Because later on in the video, I'm going to use this as the pattern to make an aluminum one. I'm going to do another pattern that I made out of wood. This is a hardwood pattern. So this one will actually be very good. I think I've made one or two of these already in the past. And for this, I'm just going to put the sand on top of it, push down and flip over the mold box and then remove the pattern from the sand. And you'll see that here shortly. You can see here now that the melting pot has already reached temperature where I don't have to use a torch at all. I could just press down and it just melts it instantly.
So here are the first two that I made. Again, this one looks okay. I'm going to actually make this out of aluminum. And this one looks really good. And I'm obviously going to make this one out of aluminum too, as I said in the beginning. In order to melt the aluminum, I'm going to use my electric furnace. And I'm going to be using a newer crucible because if you saw my last week's video, I had an accident with my old crucible. You can see that the bottom actually broke off of it because these crucibles do degrade over time. So if you didn't see that video, make sure you check out my last video that I posted. Now here I'm just going to show you quickly how I sand cast this out of foundry green sand. This is going to be a two part mold. When casting aluminum, it never comes out good for an open pour like I did in the beginning with the pewter. Pewter is a heavy metal, so you can do that with open pour molds. But since I'm doing aluminum, I now need to use a two part mold. So you put the pattern in, you put the talcum powder over top of it, then you compact sand down onto the pattern. Now here you can see on the one half, I'm just cutting out a location where I'm going to be putting the sprue and the vent. The reason I'm just putting a small location on the one half is now when I finish doing this half, I'll then take it apart and then I can see the location on both halves. Then I can carve out the sprue and the vent on both halves. See what I'm talking about? If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask them in the comments below. And yes, there is a little bit more to it than what I'm showing. Like I am using much more of the brush and much more of the little air sprayer to get rid of all the loose sand. I am just trying to do this quickly and so I don't bore you as much. When my custom mold box is finished, I'll just remove the top and it's ready to pour. So this is going to be the next one I make. I'm not going to bore you with the sand casting. I'm just going to show you the pour. I have now let these set for about 15 minutes now. They are now ready to be removed from the mold box, but still, yes, very hot. Do not touch them with your hands. Just like the pewter pattern I used, it looks just as good. <laughs> now that these are all cooled off and I am now able to touch them with my hands, it's time to cut off the sprue and the vent. And after that's finished, I'm now going to file it down and make it take shape so I can then reuse this as a pattern for the future. Now I'm going to sand this down and give this a smooth polish so it has an exceptional surface finish. Having that exceptional surface finish will now allow me to have great replicas of this when I cast them, which will require a lot less finish work to do on them. All right guys, here's the patterns I use. This was the first one. And like I said, I'm not really happy with this pattern I am going to make another one of these because it just did not come out right. That one was great and this one is just as great. 
And you can see here, this was the pewter cast for the first one I made. And this was the aluminum one. The aluminum came out just as good as the pewter, but as I said numerous times in the video, I am just not happy with the pattern I made and used for this cast. And this one, this one came out great, just as good as the pattern. I probably made two other ones and they came out just as good. That one is without fail. Every time is just as good as the first one. This one, again, this is the pewter pattern and this came out just as good. And this one is the aluminum one. Obviously, the aluminum one it looks much better than the pewter because of the shine. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you liked it, comment below, give it a thumbs up, whatever you want to do. I'll see you in the next video.